All right, so this is supposed to be about finding balance, all right? Um, it's, it's between, the balance is between the residents and the bar and club owners, all right? And we're worried about, you know, the maintenance issues um, that are, then the violence exacerbates all that stuff. You know, we don't like to come out of our homes and there's beer bottles in our yards, there's vomit, you know. I mean, okay, so I've had somebody throw up on our front porch because they're just sitting on our couch that's on the front porch. I've had somebody take go number two in the yard, you know, had people just go all the way to a, basically our backyard to go urinate, had people having, you know, throwing out their condoms after having sex. Like, there's a lot of these maintenance issues and if we can take care of the maintenance issues, it, it, it will, you know, improve the quality of life for residents so much. And it, it can create, you know, some coexistence here. Um, now, something I put together here is uh, a timeline of what's going on here. And the goal is to get to 2024. I know we want immediate action and there are some immediate action items, but things are gonna take time to change. And the businesses agree that things are gonna, are gonna change when a lot of these things get done. Um, we've, got, we've got Don Pitts and uh, helping um, mitigate sound. Uh, he, he started uh, March 1st, I believe he was hired. Um, so he's gonna go into every you know, bar and club that's having noise problems and go in there and try and figure out how to make it work with the, the bar and club and residents and educate people. Um, we got the Saint, North St. Mary's Business Association Agreement. All right, uh, we've got 16 of 19 bars and clubs, I believe, have basically agreed to, to this, you know, changing some standards and having a minimum standards for operation over here to improve things for the neighborhood. Um, I know there'll be some debate here whether they'll work or not, but these other things will these all tie together okay so we got the parking study we got residential parking protection or just residential protections in general uh we've got the bond complete getting the bond completed uh multi-family living projects that are going to be completed um and uh SAPD substation so goal is to get to i believe good is on the other side of 2024 it's just going to take some patience so this, I put this together. This is how this is gonna help balance out the neighborhood here. You know, we have all these Tobin Hill initiatives. We got the construction, we got the North St. Mary's uh, Business Association Agreement and getting residential protections. So with the bond construction um, and uh, multifamily construction uh, and we got the SABD substation, these things are gonna improve the infrastructure of the neighborhood and it's it's gonna, with the significant increase in multifamily living, businesses are gonna be less reliant on having cars come over here. You know, you're gonna, you're not gonna need as much of a need for parking with that, with a thousand plus new multifamily living apartment units here. Now, I know that's gonna enrage some people because that's also changing the dynamic of the neighborhood with that many multifamily living uh, uh, residences, but we're in a dense population. You know, San Antonio is growing faster than the housing, so that's just something that's we can't change. It's, we, people have to have somewhere to live. Um, and with the construction, it'll also create a safer, more functional community for residents, business, ped pedestrian, cyclists. With the, with having that substation there, the, the road making more sense, um, and perhaps less traffic. Uh, these residential protections, uh, you know, we've got the parking study being done, uh, Don Pitts um, and uh, Mike Shannon facilitating the noise ordinance task, task force, improving people's quality of life. Um, <clears throat> Uh, those improved parking protections for residents will reduce those maintenance issues and strengthen the North St. Mary's Business Association Agreement. Um, so this agreement here is the most immediate action we have. Um, and uh, to tie into the parking study, also what Chief McManus proposed with the uh, barricades. Um, those things 
uh, are something that you know we have going on right now, and we got to remember that a lot of this is tied to this construction getting getting done. That a lot of this is going to improve the neighborhood, and. I've talked to the business, barn club owners, business owners, and they agree. They see the future. They see they see 2024, and they see how the neighborhood is going to change. And they're going to they're you know they're going to change with the neighborhood. 